I've been listening to this tale about a dude named Ted standing there just looking at the tools in his shed. And then he got to thinking, just looking ain't no fun. Let's pick one up and plug it in and see if it'll run. It did. Pretty good, too. Now old Ted's a happy guy because he's got a pretty wife. Figures if he plays it right, he'll keep that gal for life. That gal, her name is Beverly, and he's her hillbilly. He's sweet on her, she's sweet on him, they're happy as could be. She's Beverly, he's hillbilly, he's Beverly's hillbilly. Well, I suppose I probably really should have had the camera on a little sooner than this. I've carefully cut these pieces. These are going to be the legs. And size them and for the most part at least. Still need a little tweaking but um, these will be a next leg at each end. I'm still one piece left to glue on here. I'm just letting the last of the glue run out of my jug there before I refill it. And I'll clamp that piece on. Anyhow, show you more. So it occurs to me, I thought I had footage of building these legs. I don't. So, I'm going to try to explain what I did. I wanted the table height to be... Um, I'll have to remember now, it would be a good thing, wouldn't it? Let's take a tape measure and I'll tell you. About 35 inches. <laughs> so, I uh, just, I used the pieces that I cut off the live edge of the table. These pieces. And I had enough width there to make the, uh, well, it's basically three inches by each of the pieces was uh, um, just over one inch thick and I laminated them together I have here I have one solid piece that goes straight through and on the back side the other way I have a solid piece that goes straight through then I made pieces here that match and just come up against this piece and against this piece. Which left me with figuring out angles and stuff to get the height I wanted. And the angles that I came up with, let's see if I can get this in the work. Forty-eight point five or something. No, oh, forty-eight point eight degrees. So I made up a little jig so that I can cut all the angles and they'd all be the same. Of course, that leaves a different angle for this center piece. So I had to cut these on a different angle and see if I can figure out how to show you what that is. Which way to do it is here. Do it this way. So that's eighty two point zero five. I guess if you add the two together you might come up with ninety. I don't know if I'd have to. Anyway. So having done that, I glued these pieces up, made an awful mess in the process. I didn't have enough length for uh, solid pieces all the way through on both, so you'll notice, I don't know if you can see over there, there's a joint in that one. I put the joints that I had to make on the inside so they won't show up as much. And she wants this part to be stained almost chocolate brown. Uh, I don't think it's quite a walnut, it's more chocolate. Whereas the, the skirts in the top will be just a, a natural satin finish. 
And what else can I tell you? Oh, maybe I should bring you over and show you what I did to uh, actually mount the legs to the table. I may have to take you out to do that though. Give me a second here. Okay, so you see here, this, this piece that the bolts come up through is permanently fastened to the cross members, the, the X members. The piece underneath it has the bolts countersunk down in. I cut them so that uh, uh, the bolt can't turn. And then it's glued to the top and pocket screwed into the side rails here and at each end of those so that I don't have any holes in the top of the table. I did the same at the other end. Okay, you can see the, uh, the break in the... or I had to put two pieces together there. And yeah, so I'm just going to do some more sanding on this. I figure I might as well um, sand the legs and get them stained before I flip the table over and do the top. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm going to go back and do some sanding. Maybe I should check and see what time it is. Might be time to go in and eat or something or have a nap. I got okay, you. So there, we've got it mocked up a little bit more. I've got the piece across the center for the two uh, angled pieces that will hold everything stiff here and here. Keep the legs at a 90 degree. Uh, they're just mocked in there right now. I'm going to have to probably shorten them about half an inch and figure out how I'm going to fasten it. I think I might have some ideas. I don't know for sure how it'll work, but we're going to try it. Okay, and then it'll just be some sanding and finishing. Hopefully it works out the way, well, you know, the way I planned it. All right, so I'm trying to make sure that my legs are square. So... to the table at least that's pretty close but it yeah. so that makes that a tight joint relatively speaking that one's not bad either although I'll have to move it a little bit to center it I'm toying with putting a um, Spit it out, dum dum. A uh, <laughs> my brain is a tea nut. Is that what they call it? Anyway, inside here, so that I can run a bolt through here and into it to tighten this on there, and likewise here. And what I'll do is. Uh, drill a hole through here that I can with a yeah two sizes one big enough to accept the t-nut and the other just big enough for the bolt to come through to meet the t-nut so that I can run a bolt from here through inside to, to tighten this up and hold everything in place and the same on that side anyway I'm gonna see what I can figure out let me set you up on the tripod over there maybe I'll bring the tripod over here and uh, hopefully we can get some more work done on this thing back at you oh for Pete's sake okay we got it going this time so I'm trying to put a uh, 
a flat surface down in there to put a washer on and a bolt or, or for a nut to go through up through where that is protruding and this is a uh, a bit it's like a Forstner bit where'd it go it's like a Forstner bit but it claims it'll cut both ways so I'm hoping that it'll, without too much more effort we'll cut a uh, relatively where'd it go flat bottom Where'd you go? It's hard to fill them upside down. There it is. Up in there. For the nut, or the bolt, sorry, to go through with the washer on it. <sighs> Hope it makes sense. I can't sense. say I'm real happy with it, but I can't say I'm horribly disappointed either. I think, I think it might work. It's a lot of hard work getting that in there like that. I'd have to figure out another way to do it so that well, anyway, we'll see. Give me a minute, I'll set you up. Okay, so I'm going to try to do just to see if it's going to work or not. Put that against there. Washer on the bolt. I can make that hole a little bit bigger. But it looks like it might just work. And then try to decide what you're doing down here. Anyway. I'm going to take this apart again and I'm going to make that. Hmm. That hole there. Just a little bit bigger. Yep. That should work. Let's try this on for size. Now, assuming this is long enough to reach the team up. That's all the way in. I might, oh, it'll be just about right. Okay. Take a punch of some sort. <coughs> and see if I can seat that T-nut. Old piece of steel, hammer, against the T-nut. Ow! Hit the steel, not the knuckles. Progress has been made in the crazy land of Ted. Okay. Now, 
I got to figure out what I'm doing here. Do there what I did there. And we'll see how things keep going. I'm quite happy with that. Show your mark. So now I guess this episode is all done and said. I would like to thank you all for visiting with Ted. If you'd like to see what's next, why not subscribe and see? It's not that hard, just click on it, it's easy as could be. Comment too, I'd like that.